something about refusing to help bail out the dynasty, that he was rich in silver, but would not help the Radats. He was upset with this Marquis wanting to remain separate from the troubles of this province. I left shortly after and spent most of the morning to get down here. I believe I can understand what's going on now. I heard comments before about Kovez always being seen with his mother. But I knew something had been strange, something had been going on behind the scenes that people weren't seeing. So he's using her as a as a facade, as a front to look like a good brother, like a good son. When it's a mem all this time has been taking care of her. And he's been scared I in his own keep. Don't know. I did watch the Baroness like you requested. I did not see her be given anything strange. The only person to feed her is Baron Arman, and he tastes the food before he feeds her. Oh, good. So it is, so it is mental anguish then that she's going through the loss of her husband. I think so. She talks in circles, often referring to Kovaz as her favorite son. Thank you, Zef. Oh, thank you, Zef. Thank you. You helped shine the light on a great deal. I am just glad I can help friend Faye and friend Cassidy and friend Al and friend Tyr and friend O'Shawn and friend Sarah and friend Shari. This is worth it. Aye. But I you're... am very <laughs> tired. I know. Thank you so much, friend. Climbing Thank is you. hard work. I, I know. Get you some rest. I did bring you some berries from the grove, okay? From your tree. <gasps> I love berries. I would like to eat and rest now. All right. I will put you in your pot, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Come on, Zeph. All right. Spot right there for him. Yeah. Hello, friend wolf. There you go. <laughs> like I said, Sharik, he might be small, but he's still my friend. And he's no fool. He's something, all right. Does that help at all? Yeah, makes me feel better about backing a man, that's for sure. I would agree. Probably the right call cool. after what happened at the quarry. <sighs> Definitely. I just wanted to be sure. I didn't doubt your father's plan or anything like that, but I just wanted to be for sure. 
No, this is good. It confirms our theories. He seems like he's scared in his own keep. That he only keeps these four guards with him is probably all he gets left to trust. Mm -hmm. And his mother. I think your fa your fa I think your father was right. He needs guidance. He's all alone. I think scared. us offering support will be a blessing for him. I think he's more likely to take it now that we know his disposition. Especially uh, if we... Even though we can never say such, because he's got to be a proud man. He doesn't want to show face like that. Oh, of course. Once we're out of the shadows, we'll be um, just there to help. Pushing him in the right direction. Thank you. Your dad's gonna, your dad will be a big help. If uh, you require any assistance on the diplomatic side, in addressing a man, I may be able to assist. I have familiarity dealing with those in a position of authority and leadership. We still have a few steps before we get to that point, but... Right. Simply leaving it on the table. Appreciate it, too. I understand nobility. It, it does sound like Kovacs has something with the Capitano. Pardon me? I've Doesn't heard good me. things about this Marquis. I don't know much of his disposition, though, the Marquis, though. Welcome back. Maybe, maybe Markle or one of the moguls know more about this. It's this straight just business sense thing. He doesn't want to put money into something that he thinks might fail. Especially with all these outside threats, i.e. the Imperials, and especially the Robber Baron, now that he's moving. No one would want to invest their money into this. Mm. This doesn't I matter if he's a good that... or bad person. I don't think they would put their money into a province that they think is going to fall. So you think if you and your father and everyone can turn this thing around and help him in, that he might actually be able to support after he sees it turn starting to turn around? The Marquis? Possibly. Yeah. Once... At least it seems like this Marquis is pretty smart. Well... Staying neutral. Assuming we get into the position we want to be in, that would imply that Nortis itself is secure anyway. From there, that'll look better for traders, i.e. Sawtooth will come back, and any other traders. Mm. And the Marquis himself might support. But that's for down the line. Later down the line. Right now we're dealing with the Capitano. <laughs> well, that means that if y'all deal with him, y'all might have to be dealing with Kovaz at the same time. It sounds like he's got something underhanded between him. He just admitted that he's that the Capitano is going to pay for this. Oh, he's threatening. Sure. That would mean that both Amem and Kovaz would want the Capitano dealt with. So it's a mutual thing. They just don't have the proof that they need just yet. That's why we've been doing what we have been doing. Once we give it to either of them, I'm sure they'll both want to act similarly. Maybe Kovacs will be a bit more lenient on him. But, well, mm. faced with this much controversy. Let's hear it out. Uh, so, um, you want to speak, Miss Sarah? No. Uh, I don't even know where it is. If you want to, upstairs. I'll go check. If you want long. to think about it. I think I'd just rather have you take a look at me, make sure I'm okay. Okay. After I explain what happened yesterday. Mm, sure, I'll, I can try. Can we have the room, everyone, please? Uh, Except for, obviously, thank you. Venora and Wolf. Sarah. Everyone else. Keep me out of my own shop. Yeah, imagine <laughs> that. Oh my goodness. Huh. Hmm. 
I'll still take uh, over. Excuse so. for the interruption. Hopper is looking for looking for charcoal if you have any it's in stock. Um I'm not sure. I'll have to look at I'll have to look and see if I have any left myself. Just tell me give us a few minutes. I figured, the, right. I figured private meeting or Right. <laughs> um You're kicking me out. You owe me that talk, then. <laughs> Maybe it's best for everyone to go upstairs who's having yes, that conversation. Yeah, if, if you want to, yes, sir. <sighs> I'll take a look at you. We're going outside. Very well. Oh, this can only go well. <sighs> It'll be okay, miss sir. Let me look at you. Mm. I might need to wait a moment, but... No, I think I'm ready. Check. Uh, I just want to come by and check on you. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's all right. Uh, uh, so don't, there? You haven't seen Tang out there, have you? So, so what ails you, Miss Sarah? It's been a I while since I even took a look at you. I'm not very sure, but I was seeing things yesterday. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Ruh-roh. Let me check and see. Ruh-roh. Oh, Ruh-roh. We're, we're, we're near Vezrin's public build. Not us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is, it, is, it, is his building near this one? Yes, probably so. Yes. It's not affecting um, us then. We can continue. How busy are you right now? The line is starting to build. Uh, seems Lorelai also has need how of you. How about you go down there and shall I tell? The, shall I tell the mold to bugger okay. off? Mm -hmm. Let you. Okay. Okay. We'll wait. All right. Let me go down there. Well, we need a god here anyway. I, I, every time. I can tell them to fuck off. No, every no. We'll, every we'll time. It's been like three or four times. Thoughts. This is kind of really sucky for you. <laughs> every. Fucking. <sighs> I'm just assuming it's best room. <laughs> yeah. Being an asshole. <laughs> I guess I could pick your brain about it. Sure. I'm not, um, it was, um very this way inclined, so forgive me if I say stupid don't things. Don't mind if God mode is on in here and it's dark. It's alright. Okay. I told you about the sword. Yeah. Did I tell it you about the first thing I saw? The arrow uh, or the crossbow boat? Yeah, Let me move over here. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ah, uh, I was wondering if you had any charcoal available for sale. It's fucking weird. The fact that it happened twice in one thing makes me worried. I saw Aegon too. He's fine. I, I'm scared to bring it up to him. I don't want him to get pissed that I shot him in the back of the head. When it went through, was it just like? It definitely went through. Right, but was it like a... Like... Like a, a spear through water, like or did it like... Pfft, his head everywhere and stuff, or did it just pfft, right through him? It... It was like it... I have five pieces. It looked I'm wrong. Sure it's nothing. It looked like it... I can't think of any like word to describe it. It moved really through him. Yeah. yeah. For a Take your time. Not rough. Without injuring him, it just moved bad. through. Make sure I have options. And then it hit the person behind him. I thought he was dead. <laughs> the one he was fighting. It, it went in the back of his skull, okay. through his helmet, and out the front. And there was no... Killed the other guy. Spark, yeah, no... Two, sparkle... Yeah. Yes. It embedded right How between much? his eyes. That's where I was aiming, uh, but... He moved Charcoal right at the wrong time, wood. and... I froze. Oh, gosh. I but he just kept swinging. Like... He was yeah, just talking to me. If he's around. <sighs> I don't know. So how do you I don't know what to think anymore. <sighs> okay, well, it's not Let me think. I got ten the other person, because she's gone. You haven't picked up any special other items, have you? Maybe you're just... It was my bare fucking hands. ...that way inclined. Oh 
Okay. They got bright. Knock, knock. <laughs> Come in. If Come I am, in. I need answers. That's why I want to ask Venora. Vezrin and Venora were talking about, um, different types of magic stuff. Um, birth, birth magic or something like that. We have a whole bunch of people who were kicked out. If you've been talking about this sort of stuff has been happening since you were young. I'm going to just guess. I mean, Hopper, I'm that it's not a magic expert, but if it's been happening since your birth, then piece, I think, maybe a silver piece for both of them. The last time there was Does it sound oh. about right? If it's not yeah, Mr. Mark will never sell for like sixty a piece. The last time I felt that warmth. Oh, okay. well, there you go. Here you go, Ben. One silver. I was very piece. young. Decades ago. There's fire everywhere. Thank you very much. I'll mark it down. I will mark it down. I don't know. To a wonderful mix of I'm just confused, and I need answers because if I can use this, oh, I can fucking melt swords at the touch of my fingers. I need to know Maybe how. <laughs> that shit can't just randomly. Yeah. No worries. It only takes four. And you're hesitant to talk to Ezra about it. Or I need to know that I. I need to know that I can't harness it. I just. I need to know. Yeah. I need answers. A definition. Fuck. There's another person. Yeah, yeah, no. No worries. I understand. Mr. Robber Baron. Friend of all of ours. So if I can help, if you can. He seems to know wood, quite a shitload about this stuff. We'll, we'll get it Fuck, he knew about Elysium and the Institute. If I had known that, I would have fucking asked him. Well, yeah. I appreciate you, Vince. No worries. I mean, he fucking pulled Maybe out a book and started tonight. reading, you know. No worries. Mm. I'll and leave you guys to you. Thank you for taking the oh. time. Something oh, to keep in mind. I'm what did you mean, Miss Lord? nervous to get Venora involved. I've seen what Fesserin does to her because of what he has done in the past. But what you say? I feel like Bessron would try and take advantage of it or something. Also, if we handle this um, robber baron the way we want to handle this robber baron, we'll have access to his keep and all of his books. But, um, so even if we can't get a hold of him right. before it happens, yeah. we can still peruse and see if we can find something to help. Right? Oh, Zeph? Mm. I'll think about it. Yeah, and if I want to go tonight, oh. you can come with me. But sure. It's okay, he's asleep. I think he <laughs> might be preoccupied with that siege need, he's doing, but you never know. You're right. So, all right. Though his eyes Actually, lit yes, the fuck up when you talked about head. magic stuff yeah. last time, maybe it'll pique his interest oh, enough. Maybe he could use me for his dumb little fucking invasion. We don't <laughs> want that. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I would never let another man on the surface use me. Go take care of your uh, They can play pretend all they want. They'll all be dead. All right, long before it matters out. to us. It's hard to explain that mindset to singular centurials. About what, Miss Sir? It's hard to explain to humans and creatures that don't live as long as us that their oh. existence, though sentimental, in the end, is not much to gawk at for us. Mm. Oh, fuck. Give me a moment. Sorry. No worries. That's why I explained to Harry. Magic cramps. If, <laughs> if he mm -hmm. keeps, um. If he keeps trying to get close to me, which I told him I do care for him and everything, but life with me is not an easy road and it will be a short one for him. As I will live many years past. If the woods doesn't kill me first. Ugh. Hope not. Or anything else for that matter. Yes, I'd rather help people for thousands of years before my death. Is my hope. And hopefully, become wise enough to help y'all with ease instead of me fumbling through the dark at half the stuff we do. 
You're doing fine, Faye. Like I told you, I still want to have that talk with your father that when we do finally find what we're looking for here, I do plan on retiring in Gwen if you'll have me. Of course. As I said, you're always welcome. I would love, I would love to make a force there for y'all. A big one. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you need me to look at? First I want to explain and then I guess you can use your expertise okay. from there. Okay. Yesterday I was in combat, heavy combat. Just doing my thing, firing my crossbow. Fighting alongside Aegon and Lodia. Cade. I shot a good shot. It was going to hit the target. And then Aegon's big fat fucking head got in the way. I thought I nailed him in the back of the head. I genuinely oh. froze and I thought I nailed him. Goodness. But the bolt just seemed to... Oh god. Uh, the bolt seemed to just phase through the back of his fucking helmet and out the front. It then embedded itself in the enemy's skull. I, m I hit my shot, but... I know what I saw. That almost, that almost sounds like a capability of a... <laughs> smaller version of Archway going from one point to the next, but really quickly. I don't know what it was, but it scared the fucking shit out of me. I froze in the middle of combat because I thought I murdered him. Well, you were never down there when we went down with the ancient one when we went to secure that archway. He used certain abilities I've never seen someone use before. His abilities were quite unique. From what I remember, he took down these servants with a of Ash with ease, where he would, of course, reappear and appear again really quickly use some kind of magic to reinforce his body and literally beat these things to a pulp. Or shoot, I don't know, equivalent of Grodian fire out of his hands and obliterate mother's tree ants and massive things of that nature like they were nothing. He was far more powerful than anybody could have conceived when I saw him in action, along with Gelix. This is the first time he, I think, he actually let down his guard and showed what he was truly capable of. Other than whatever Vezrin might have saw in closed doors. But... Sounds like something... Sounds like something's changing in you or awakening in you. I know people hate when I bring up his, his name, but... Goldrick said the world was changing. Things of old are coming back to life in the world. Things are going differently. I wonder if something's Something coming old. back to you or not. Something else happened when we were leaving. Okay. One of the robber baron's men took a swing at me. And Daddy's present. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was going to... <laughs> My daddy senses I a tingling. I knew it was going to hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna check on the forge. I'll... There he is. I'll, um... You gonna leave at the good part? I can wait. Yeah. No, you can go check. It's fine. I... This magic Rather stick wait. does my head um, in. I'll be by I, the forge. Okay. I know. Okay. Alright. If you smell smoke, come save me, I guess. Oh, please help. I'm not that kind of magician. <laughs> I was not worried about your skill. That's why I'm here. Okay. So... 
If I had to put it in practical terms, it's as if a human would be able to pull back a Bjorning boat. Right. Take care, Sharik. That's not Sharik. Oh, Sharik is there. Morning. Morning. Is it dark in here, or is it just me? Sounds quiet today. I think so. I don't know. I'm a little foggy. Everything's... I feel different today. Like yesterday. Everything feels just... Colder. Even the sun on my skin... Just feels empty. How about you? Y'all want to see how close the other buildings are on the map?
Oh wow, it's like dark. But they are like right next to each other. Them. That does sound like they're actually. Ah. Sounds like a great deal. I haven't really had much myself, to be honest, so can't quite say to the Yeah, I only heard about it. I haven't heard any good news. There's more than one, I think. Very quiet. Almost prefer it when this thing's actually happening. It's just unnerving now. You should eat that food that you have in your pocket before it goes off. I'm gonna take a second up in my room. I'll be right back.
Did I misinterpret that? I thought Bronze was saying that he's around because, you know, Arn was around. Maybe he was just saying that he was just being a DM there. Oh well. Is it a good egg? Yeah. You're nice and yummy. You got nice num num. You have your num nums? Yes. Okay. Come well, on, let's go check back on Sarah. <clears throat> you need to <laughs> pace yourself. I need to teach you lessons in pacing. <clears throat> no, that's not getting turned on today. Not like me. <laughs> Yeah, my DM sheet run said that he would be here in the morning. Which I, I thought that's what he meant when he said daddy's here. I misinterpreted it. Just put, like a metal band under where your heel would be here. And you wouldn't have your higher answer foot. So to take it off, you could just have the clasp here on the side. And then they would open. You that he thought you were special in some way that he actually actually showed maybe like he actually cared about you I don't know what you're talking Even though about I don't know who the ancient one is Paul Griff special. I don't Sitting believe that, you. that ship has right. sailed when I fucked up when I took off those fucking chains She ruined my life. If I had just left those fucking chains on, if I had just sucked it up, I would still have Silva. Hey. I'd take it all back if I could. Listen, Sarah. <laughs> that old wise kook. <laughs> The whole one, Goldrick, one of my most friends of the wood, told me something when he first laid that a gift to me. He said, we will make some mistakes when we were young, but if we learn from them, <coughs> the burden on ourselves just a little. It's when we get older, when we make mistakes, we have to live with them. You're still way young. He fucking... He, he had to know. He wouldn't have chained me like that if he didn't fucking know. It wasn't because of the ghost. I don't believe it. And if it was... The ghost wanted to get this. rid of whatever it is that is this void. This dark mark on my soul. I'm gonna ask the you a very pointed rid question. Of okay. Would you ever want to see him again if you had a second chance? He would not give me the chance, Venora. I knew what I that's did. Not for, that's not for you to decide. I need help. Well, I talked to Morden. Because he was talking about this artifact that they're supposed to deal with in Kurano, because he's asking me about ways of sealing things like that. Y'all weren't present in the cave when 
since Wait. I don't use... Are you in contact with him? His father believes that... As far-fetched as it might sound, that I might be his eyes and ears. The reason why I say this is when I left the keep with my mother, when she gave in to the plan of destroying half a country, he was displeased, to say the least, because of, like you, he trusted her, and then she waned in her trust, and thus as punishment for doing a favor for a favor, he casted a powerful spell binding me to him. At his word or command, if she was not supposed to go with the plan, what do you I would mean? cease to, to exist. Oh, well, knock, knock, knock. He said I would cease to exist. That didn't happen. And what was troubling is when they left, Adwick, the ancient one, went back into the keep, never came back. He never did the un he never undid the incantation he cast it on me. So I don't know what he did or didn't do. His father seems to think that he might have cast a spell on me to keep me close to see through me to hear through me I don't know anyone in here it's locked downstairs as well I would just like have that one moment with therapy it's just one moment <laughs> um <laughs> It's all right. We were just um, talking about that, actually. Hmm. Seems every time we try to but, talk about this stuff specifically, we get interrupted over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> well, this gem or this artifact or whatever they're trying to seal in Corano. Downstairs. Is someone one of the Elvish agents? Their agent fought from from Eshmetabas. Hmm. Hello. Hail. 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 Good to see you again. We need to speak. That note in the open. All right, with me. How can I help you? It's good to see you again. <laughs> and you, I was a little worried. It's been a while. I've been dealing with politics. Huh. Elven <laughs> politics. My fucking favorite. I would not wish that faith. That fate is one I would not wish upon any person, sane or insane. <sighs> well, that's not why I'm here. Hmm. You need to continue working with the rangers. Okay. To be perfectly honest, they'll never admit it. The lines are st stretched incredibly thin. But... 
Their lines can only go so far. And we also have the wonderful issue of Kovaz. He's been assisting them, but in less than favorable ways. Shall we say? Go on. I can't exactly give the details, just that he's assisting and it's not doing enough for them to be able to continue to hit where they need to and as hard as they need to, when they need to. Hmm. We've also seen a few of them getting pretty badly wounded as well. Yes. It's getting worse. The orcs are getting more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Things are pushing out. <sighs> We've been trying to keep an eye on them. And I'm sure you're aware, but the robber baron's making his move as well. Which is just going to enrage the orcs. And, yes, I've... You know. I've heard a lot of things. The quarry's been retaken. For how long? But... Uh, it's not for how long that concerns me. Imagine you're sitting on the top of a mountain. You take a small rock and throw it down. At some point, it's going to hit a bigger stone and a bigger stone and a bigger stone. At what point does that, that one rock become an avalanche that crushes everything underneath? Fair enough. I received reports that there were redolled men coming back on the roads, heavily injured. Mm. And that certain parts of this land are starting to fall to the robber baron and his men. Yep. That uh, keep to the northern border. Apparently it fell yesterday to them. And so, the rock slide begins. Yeah, we're not getting any trade into the city anymore, Sawtooth's pulled out. And basically that keep stops anything coming in from the northern road, and we don't really have much coming from Ismith Lost, so we are completely cut off. You're telling me that Sawtooth, the ships that went to the harbor, stopped? Hmm. They don't want to be on the wrong side of this robber baron versus Redod's thing. They want to be. They want to come back and support whoever the victor is. I mean, they're fucking pirates, so that's what they do. We'll help you rebuild. Exactly. Of course. What would you have me do? Just continue to work with them. Any assistance you can provide. Anything. Whether that's information, <clears throat> or, or perhaps if you see a, a few stray orcs killing them. It's a numbers game now. Mm. But be wary. I've heard the grey orcs that are getting restless. <laughs> yeah, I went with a ranger a couple of days ago to hunt down a pack of them. We managed to kill them, but... Hmm. At a great loss. It's almost as if they're getting their own specialized units. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm not exactly looking forward to what's to come. This one was an expert in traps and poisons. And when he sprung the ambush on us... I'd have to agree. Galeel, I mm -hmm. want Shaft. to assist Wait. these rangers, but I... After this last one, I nearly died. I was brought here in critical condition, and I was on death's door, and I barely pulled through. I keep bleeding for other causes than my own. And it's getting riskier and riskier. 
And the only thing I can offer you in any semblance. But again, it would require continual work with the rangers. Is that armor that you are interested in? I think that's fair. That would allow me to do what I need to do. A little bit safer too. The thing about that armor is it's not one that can be bought or given by someone like me. It was made by the rangers, for the rangers. Do enough for them. And I do, I don't know what enough is anymore. God, I'm playing the politics game. It's impossible to know what's enough. But earn it from them. And it's not just the armor you will earn. Just gotta pick up two things. It's the respect that you would earn. Hmm. It's a rare thing to pick up. I'll keep doing what I'm doing then, I guess. Lord knows I've been working hard with them. If I can spare any resources, whether it's bandages or potions, I will do my best to get them here. That would be handy. But Even my own coffers I are running low. I cannot guarantee alone. anything. I know. Anything that helps, though. There's the rocks by the vineyards. The tall ones. There's a, a few stashes that might be might be able to be replenished once in a while there. I cannot guarantee it. Hmm. But we might be able to get you something there. Then they will be a pleasant surprise if and when they do show up. Thank you, Galil. Hmm. Are they going to be needing me today? Or are you just no touching in? Just giving you the heads up. Of course. Time is no longer an ally, I'm afraid. When is it ever? Um, when you have enough of it. <laughs> we live for so long, try to you come and back. I, and yet <laughs> it's task to task. Place to place. Mm-hmm. Or perhaps purpose to pur purpose. A very poetic. We live this long, we have to learn a certain eloquence in our speech. <laughs> Everyone else wants to hit us over the head with a two by four because they're tired of it, but it, it is there. I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah, it comes with time. It has to do most things. Are you going back to Esmishalos, or are you staying in the area? I still have to play the politics game. I'll see if I can stick around for the night, at least. Hmm. I would like to speak with Tazim again if I can. Of course. If not, it is back to Eshmach with me. Hopefully he shows up today. He's been very busy with our own politics games here. I've noticed the increase in the door. Or does it? Are you going to start charging rent for people now? <laughs> if I was, I could probably buy most of Nortus. The door is to stop the Capitano from kicking <laughs> it down, though this morning he just went around to the back door anyway. So, not sure what the point of that was. Now, if you've got any trappers, you could, you know, have a nice little spike ready to... <laughs> this person goes through. I thought about rigging up a crossbow. It's an accident, of course. Yeah. That or, um, I mean, if you, you can, I've seen some gnarled blades that come back from different jobs and whatnot. I'm sure you could rig it into some weird, uh, what is it called? A bear trap? Ooh, pity whoever steps in that. <laughs> Don't give me these bad ideas, Khalil. I might actually follow through. There's the fun in not giving someone ideas, but you're thinking. 
Hmm. Besides, if you think against it, you're one step ahead of the game. <laughs> How very wise of you. Thank you, Galil. Is there anything else you need of me? No, is there anything you need of me that I might provide? I'll be around. Hmm. Honestly, I might stay on your roof for the time being. <laughs> sure. Take, your, take as much time as you need. If there's something, I'll come up and find you. If not, then, well, it's a pleasure seeing you. Likewise. You'll probably see me again this evening. Mm -hmm. I'll let uh, Tazim know that you've been around. A fair warning, if you see uh, what appears to be claw marks in the wood on that side, um, don't mind it. It's one of the ways I've been climbing up, using a dagger or two. All right, sure. It's towards the wall. <laughs> right. Thank you, Galil. A pleasure as always. Of course. Likewise. And if any news comes, again, I have my runners in place. Thank you. That way, towards the stairs and just yep. straight up. Thank you. That was awkward. I just what? Yep, yeah. there he is. Hey. <laughs> um, do you mind if I stow my armor away and um, take a few minutes to? Yep. Do we gotta do? Charge. Okay, thank you. Cool. Nap time. <sighs> you good? Galil. <laughs> well, if anyone's going to be able to help me with this range of stuff, it's going to be you, so... I don't mean to sign you up for it, but... <laughs> it is kind of your domain, actually. It's very tangled. You tangle my cables. You sneak into my room and tangle my cables. No, no, no! Alright. Sarah's taking a nap. Zim is probably busy. Let's take a loop around town, make sure no one's dying. Mm. Uh. How can I help, Shriek? Just checking in with you. Who? Did someone steal my fucking hmm? horse? Not that I know of. Bruh. It, it's specifically there for... <laughs> well... We got a horse thief on the loose. Let's go kill them. Great. I love that. People desperately want to have a black horse, so they steal mine. I mean, <sighs> have somebody you... ran by, I have no idea what it was about. Uh, I've been to the Woodcutters camp yet today. Yeah, I have. You, Delivered you some wood. Do you need like anything it. from there? No, I was just... Just perusing around today. Hmm. If you'd like to go out there and visit it, we certainly can. Around, aside from the guards moving and... No, I was only gonna go if you were gone. Worrying it's okay. Outside the walls. That's it. All right. What's going on outside the walls? I know a bunch of people just ran off following apparently a map. They think they're going on a treasure hunt. So. Oh. Did you mean them? 
Tordy, Vezrin, and whoever the hell. I mean, there's like six different? of them that ran off. Yeah. They are apparently going off to find something in the map. Hmm. <sighs> Steer clear of the mill. That's it. I need to clean up a mess. Chat. Meta me. Who the fuck has my horse? <laughs> I just want to know who fucking has it. What do you fucking mean? He's got his own fucking stupid ass horse here. Why the fuck does he? Th this one's even set. Oh, was it because this one was broken? Ah, that might be why. The voices in my head told me who stole my horse, and I think this one's broken, which is why he used mine. I see. I think it was broken Makes for sense. him, but is it broken for me? Fuck no, it isn't. Take this, you stupid bitch horse. <laughs> oh my god, you slammed him in the wall and killed it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> well, glad that's sorted. If he touches my horse again, I'm going to actually fucking dick I'm going to kill him. I'm gonna kill the man. Was it Marcus? No, it was Mirandel Thessalor. I thought he just went outside of town following a map. That motherfucker. I swear I'm gonna bury him. Alright. Well. On a map? Or... No, the map is going to lead to his grave. Don't dig him up and the only thing on his body to loot will be don't steal my horse sign. Yeah. <laughs> I need to take the keys to my horse off of him first. I think an ignition bomb would be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Here. Yes, can I, we go in there? It's kind of a yeah, fun yeah, conversation, with, yeah. which I don't mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> you want to eat too uh, with us? I want to eat with Garam in the town. What? You want me with you? Well, here's one of their bowls. You can come. You can come in there. Thank you. Uh, it has to deal with what we're doing. Are we, are we here's the other bowl. Am I? I don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know how they're going to uh, go through there holding everything. Just, I honestly just, uh, don't know. Just, I don't I'm invited. That's all I know. Rabbit, so yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go talk to Gerbam about some things. Are we having a lot of... Okay. Am yes. I... Am I... Do you... Do we... Am I... Should I... What a... 
Do you, do you want to come in too? I mean, I, I got I got nothing else going on. Yes. So fuck have it. You, do you? Sure. Do you have you ever? Would you imagine you could do anything? It's good to see you again. Do what the fuck? Right. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm kind of happy that Sharik was here because, uh, yeah. Go ahead. You? Okay, what are you doing? What was that? Exercising. Your exercise? You wear, you wear full plate and you... You know what? You actually, that's a good point. You wear full plate. You need to exercise. Um, okay. Thank you. Hmm? Um, Feel free to sit if you want to. I can't right now. Unless you want me to... I... Whatever works. Sorry, Mr. Fenora. Um, no, Sharik already knows this, which he's going to inform his father about, but I did want to tell you that, well, I kind of owe you a little bit of an apology of self-doubt of who you trust most in the keep. I owe you an apology. <clears throat> Just like I, uh... they have... Just like they have their ways, I have mine of finding out things. And something that I think you should know about what's going on in the keep since you're not in there directly all the time. And trust me, you can take this for truth. He is... Okay. A man always seems scary to me when I see him out in public, of course, because He's a baron. He's going to be ruling over a kingdom. He has to show that he is strong. That he's a strong leader. But deep down, I know he's a scared young boy. He's scared. I would never admit this out in front of him because it's not my place. That's something that would be handled by somebody like you. Who could instill... Hope. Trust. Just like Tazim could do. What I learned what was going on into the keep was all this time a mem is the one that's been taking care of the mother. Holy fuck. Fearfully bro. so. On 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 the level of locking her in a room with him. Constantly keeping him on full watch by him himself. Feeding her, clothing her, bathing her. Whereas Kovaz was only seen in the hallways when it was accommodable to be seen with her. To show that she would derangedly say, oh this is my favorite boy. So it instills the fact that Kovaz uses her for his own gain to put on a front that he's this powerful person, that he is doing what's right. And what's also strange, Skirbom, that you must know going into this, it seems that a man only trusts, a man only trusts four warlords that stick with him at all times. Because everywhere he goes, this person told me that he looks into each room until it's empty before he goes into the next room with these four guards. Always at his beck and call. He's scared of something. He is fearful of something up there in that keep. But he is a good man. He just needs people he can rely on. Good people. He is the right choice. Wholeheartedly so. To see that the things that happened to my friends out there, to happen to Severick, to never happen again. I know his faults. I know what he did to Belano. I know exactly what he did. 
and I know how the people there felt. But one wise man always did tell me, when you are young, you are going to make mistakes. And it's with those mistakes that you run from those mistakes and you become a better person for it, no matter how egregious it may be. But when you are older, those mistakes become regrets on your life for the rest of your life. You cannot change those mistakes, but when you're young, you have the opportunity to do so. And while he's young, he has the opportunity with people beside him to make great change, to rub away the wrong that he's done. I still think it's for him, but his people will turn around and back him and will see the good in him. As long as he has you and others that are willing to show him that he isn't alone. That he truly isn't alone. And I know for a fact the mother is not being poisoned or given anything. A mem is eating and testing all the food before he feeds her every day and every night. That's how much he loves his mother. He loves his mother greatly. She is heartbroken. And I don't know if there's anything that truly can fix that. Other than... Other than if you can turn this place around. <laughs> turn back the clock to when Jodor rolled, when it was a great place to live. If she sees that, if you can get her out to see the lands when we recover it, Someone like that can recover if they're shown hope that the son <laughs> is doing good by her father. By her father. I'm sorry I can't really divulge much, but I trust this person gave me this information wholeheartedly. That a man is just scared and doesn't know who to turn to now. He needs someone. But y'all have to play it off like y'all know nothing, that he is strong. That he is, given what he has shown you before you, he is a strong man. But he is scared. He needs y'all. I just thought you knew that personally from me. And that I'm sorry that I misjudged him. He's off the horse? No, no, no. Go on, go that far. As you said, I'm gonna smack the fucking shit out of him. Great, but, um, <sighs> Jodar's death broke. <clears throat> it, it truly did, and what's happening with his mother. <sighs> it's no wonder what has happened has happened. But. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you, Ms. Fenora, for telling me all of that. Spy him. <clears throat> nah. Well, I didn't know what was going to happen. I, I Kyle is another fighter. He's a killer. That I was going up there and that I would find out that it was a man that perpetrated all of these terrible things in my home. But if what you're saying is true and he truly does care so much, then yes, I think we can very much save this place as difficult as it's going to be i know it's going to be quick to do and both your horses look at it and use the same table he doesn't use my stable he uses the other one he's supposed to use the one by the bathhouse guards that are always with him because the ones he trusts and those the ones you need to make sure that are and else back when y'all do take down the capitano or when y'all ascend him to the throne because those are the four that will be loyal to him that will see to it that he is protected of all the royal guard we have four and was giving him shit for bringing the horse yeah fuck it g give me my horse back <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at i will use that most certainly The mother has just been endless in all of this, and a man's been taking care of her. Wherever he went, he would take her with her, keep him with him. 
that sounds like a, a true son that's trying to make amends with the girl. He's seen what happened to his mother. Especially trying to bathe her and take care of her that way. Faye be like, I really think of him as... <laughs> well, now I understand why Kovez was down here trying to put her front, trying to do what he did. And why he wasn't spending time up there when all along it was a mem that was doing all the hard lifting. <clears throat> Kovez has suffered the same fate. Lost both his parents and he's always been the second son so he's always felt inadequate <laughs> i want to try and reconcile them as well but first things first we have to deal with the priority issues and of course get you all what you need <laughs> well i know what Tazim wants to eventually accomplish, but me, I just want a happy place to live to be able to learn. There's things in Gladia I want to research, Skirbom, things I want to learn from. When things settle down, when things get to a monicum of normal, when everything is at least starting to get back in order, My kind, and I say my kind, I'm <clears throat> not a normal elf by far, but I will say this, Gerbom, eventually I need a house I can turn to for aid. There is so few of my kind left in this world that I know Grotty is harsh, that it, it relies on coin. And a fear that my good sister over there has, and rightfully so, is the things that we hold dear to us are things that your Baron could easily use as a tool. Use this as a tool. We've been, we've seen it before. And we want to be friends and be able to help the province in ways that many people cannot with knowledge that we know. But we gotta see first how well you and Tazim can get him on the proper path before... You steal my horse, I steal someone's food. Come out of the <clears throat> ...and actually seek aid from this Baron in a way of to where I can help his province prosper in ways I don't think he could ever comprehend. But also Sweet. to see that my... Mm, my people are very few, and we have very few places we can turn to for safety. I am not a fan of the high. Where do those windows lead to? We're up against a mountain. There are a few houses I can trust, yes. But as for me, Tazim knows this wholeheartedly. Even though humans are short lived versus my own. Y'all achieve such great things. Blame Vizard. Such short life. <clears throat> it is because of the mountain short aside life view. That Isn't that a type of drink? Mountain mountain view. That you give it your all every waking moment. Both ain't ain't that a fizzy drink? The centuries, thousands of years, they have become hubris, complacent, thinking they know better. Thinking they know that how they can school the other races on how to run their politics, how to live their life. Just because we have been gifted long lives doesn't mean we have jurisdiction to tell you how to live yours and to think we know better. <clears throat> Humans are just as smart as we are. They, we're not using the same fucking stable! Arn built that stable for me. They put my horse in there for me. Vezarin has been using the one near the fucking bathhouse. That's his fucking stable. <laughs> the reason we made my the, the stable by the forge is so that people by the forge and the Gwen gang could use those fucking horses. <laughs> there used to be long ago. <clears throat> 
united. But that Fuck! <laughs> what do you mean if anything happens, blame Mirren? There's no one else! <laughs> You fuckers, God, God, you, you can't blame Mirren for this. That he's literally directly responsible for this. Civilizations have crumbled. That's why I'm hoping in the, in the days and the months to come, I can offer your barren aid where others cannot. True, genuine aid. <clears throat> Not to tell him how to run his country. Not to whisper. Gonna put a fucking air tag on Maelstrom. The simple things in life that I have learned myself through these hardships of the Empire, through Arlen, through everything. If he's willing to hear it, me out. <laughs> and the only thing I will ever ask is friendship, compassion, safety. I'm not a person of monetary... Especially in Ephesus. I was gonna get on the horse and fucking prance around with Lisa, but you guys don't get that. People like Harry here. Because of Vezrin. <laughs> to protect the ones I love, that's all it's for. Silver means nothing to me other than to keep the ones I want safe. You certainly know how to uh, make a man listen when you speak, Miss Finola. <laughs> I've had good teachers. Well, I've been promised a lot of things in my life, but when I hear you say it, <coughs> I honestly come to believe it. Plans we got with them. Over there can trust and a horse. Call him a cunt. Just be like, is that your horse, man? <laughs> he left the fucking instance. Take the horse. <laughs> is that your horse? That doesn't look like your horse. That <laughs> looks like Kyla's horse. I much the same I offer to Tazim. Should I succeed in getting to where I need to go? And I shall do everything in my power to see that you and whoever you declare under your protection will receive my aid whenever you call for it. <clears throat> my defense when you need it. And assistance when you study whatever it is you need to study. That would be most helpful. And don't worry. <laughs> I still want to keep things cordial as well. This is Gradia. It will be equal trades. As always. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing ever comes for free. No matter how wonderful we want to be to each other, we always have to give something in return that is beneficial to both parties. Oh yes, but uh... Mm -hmm. Well, I've lived in Gradia all my life. And, well, I've grown particularly sick of how we do things here. So, maybe I won't see it in my lifetime, or not even in yours, but... If we can start something here, that changes things. I... I like I see. If you can... I was always told that if you can create a legacy... <clears throat> then others will always follow that legacy, and they will never truly die. No pressure, right? <laughs> no, I think you, Sharik, and Tazim have a lot ahead of y'all, more than I do. I'm just along for the ride to help people stay alive and to make sure everybody's healthy. And offer compassion when it's needed. Or a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I want my horse, Fenora. I'm not, I'm not the type that can really do much fighting or offer much in tactics or anything like that. Like I said, it offers knowledge and things that I've been through just like Shariko over there can because he's lived a harder life than I can and even his father, all of everybody. 
that's why I've enjoyed traveling so much and even though it's been hard going through the wars and everything that we fought on the early beginnings I'm actually wouldn't have changed anything for the world because I learned so much than what I would have been if I stayed in Ishmael and was never kicked out of there it has taught me so much to be thankful for <coughs> As terrible as it is, pain and suffering are usually the greatest teachers of all. Mm, aye, it is. And, uh, my home still has a lot to lose. So yes, Miss Fenora, I am going to need you desperately in the coming days. More than likely. And also, since I am a good speaker and a compassionate one, your band so neat. Along with Since I am a good speaker. And turning Bolarno around to his cause. In the days to come. In ways that I can show compassion to where he might be rougher around the edges that he cannot. But someone that represents him that can. More of a delicate matter. Maybe I can help in some of the wrongs. <clears throat> help him. I will definitely have to keep that in mind. Because yes, he... I would use fucking demolish a whiskey right now. Holy shit. Because I know it's... You know, it's going to be some time before... We will hope for that for him. That he does find a young woman that he loves and that he wants to live a life with and have children with. He feels upon the Baron as be that compassionate person <laughs> inside the Baron. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have you. that. Mm. No. That would certainly be a great boon. You are correct. Wounds touched, as I would say. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Hey, my goodness, look at what you've done with Harry here. Watch! Hey. <laughs> Even though he does make mistakes still, every once in a while gets ill in a tizzy, but I think you, I think you've heard him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, Shrek, did you need to talk to Gabon Malone, or are you just relaxing with us? No, I'm just... ...spending some time with you yeah. all. How's that cheese working as a pillow? Hope it's pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the one that smells? Yes. Now it smells like dro. Oh my god. No, oh my god. No, I'm I mean, sure there's some noble who's really bad. <clears throat> Yeah, you smell really bad. To some really specific stuff I can sell to the premium. Say something? Yeah. I'm grumpy. Vezron stole my horse. <laughs> what? what? Why would you even let him? Yeah, why would you let him? <clears throat> I, yeah, I guess he thought that, you know, it's cool to go to, you know, my stable and take my horse and act like it's his horse from doesn't, his stable. I don't know what fucking disconnect in his brain he fucking ha had. What? The tree, God told him, next to the blade and quill, he has that whole area right there. All he had to do is, <clears> like... <throat> Tell Gabon one of them to kind of commission that little piece and build him on his own stable for his own. Yeah, I'm horse. gonna slap the shit out of him when he gets back on from this fucking treasure hunt that he's on. So let me understand this. There's three spaces there. Are you telling me he just shoves his horse next to yours? He shouldn't be using that fucking stable. He shouldn't be. He no, has his own one no. that he has been using by the fucking uh, bathhouse all fucking season. Why is he using my one? Yes. Yes, that which I had, well, which 
I had help get the commission. I, I want a lock on my horse stable. <laughs> can you please do that for me? <laughs> We can, hey, I, I can put, so. I can put a, I, I could, uh, I could put a toggle, like a toggle, like rope or something. Right <laughs> yeah. <the> <laughs> Sounds like someone needs to get find a few silver, a few dozen silver when it gets back, huh? I'm gonna. That's a very serious crime. I'm gonna take his hand. Yeah. Cause right now, you have, right. wait, yeah. I, I thought, I thought it had your horse, Tazim's horse, and uh, Buttercup is over there usually, right? Something like that. I just know that Vezran's isn't fucking there. <laughs> His is by the fucking the 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 bathhouse. So you know just hey. walked up <clears throat> I saw Torty had a signed commission for a home. Well, commission a sign up there saying, Vezran, your horses aren't here." Just put a sign above Shh, my horse that away. says Maelstrom, and that's it. So if anyone fucking takes it, I can be like, oh. "Don't make me tap the sign." Okay, we can get um, <clears throat> we can get all of them to make it sign. We can put it up there for you. I would no maelstrom, yes, please, above the black horse, in the the, okay. the 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 stable. Thank you. Yeah, we talked to Otto. Yeah, and I want like yeah, this is padlock. We're talking about here. I don't get I, I, if that happens, then I have just cause oh, in character to, to fuck to him up for it. So you're gonna have to make a you're gonna have to make a. Uh, a padlock or whatever for it. All right, should I go find Aldo and get a sign made then, so it's happened? Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 All yeah. right, come on, Wolf. Anyways, because we were gonna look at, we were gonna look at, um, we're gonna look upstairs at get a pricing. Well, not upstairs. Uh, the brewery. We were gonna get pricing of wood. It would cost to get it fixed for. Um, Let's do it. Let's go find Aldo. Clifford. Yeah. Yeah. Aldo or uh, thank you for the mail. Yeah. Whoever. Of course. Oh, Marcus. Um, Marcus might be here. Well, thank you for everything. Ah. Oh, no, you're very welcome. I'm just sorry that I didn't see it before, but I knew this friend I could really rely on, and... What? You were uh, knocking down all of his stuff. Of he came for... <laughs> that one for yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> it's always been, uh... Yeah, like that. But I, I know using this time. At the very least, yes. Right. Very, very well. You can leave that there, Harry. I'll take care of it. Okay. I'll put it in your, right. your... Let's go find that old, though. <sighs> God, I'm oh, so full from all that free food from Graban. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Let's go find an Aldo. Aldo and Marcus. I'm not sure if Aldo is around today, is he? I have no idea. He might not be, but we can at least stop by. And maybe have an order put in with an NPC, maybe. True. And and then the coin can be converted to him later. Oh! oh. Hello! Good day. Good day, <laughs> Good day Mr. Vimper. I'll forge trend, Tang. Sit, Hunter, sit. Apologies. Oh. He's a new compatriot of mine. Mm. He's a good boy. I was able to tame him just the other day thanks to a purchase I made from one of the, uh, Merchants. She said I caught you at a bad yeah. time. Everyone appears to be running. <clears throat> yes? No, we're looking for the woodworker. What? Right. At your station, if Fantastic. I'm not mistaken. Thank you. Or am I thinking of the wrong one? The Lady Sif right should be sitting at your station. Unless I'm mistaken, the woodworker is... I didn't leave the same. He's oh, a wood gatherer. Yeah. Yeah. The dwarf. Uh, <laughs> talking about the young dwarf, I do not believe he is available today. Did you talk to him? Yeah, right. I think he was sent out on okay. business. I have a lot to tell Either way. Oh, do you want to talk to him? Yes. Uh, oh, no. I have a lot to tell to you. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. Yes. I will allow it. Have any... Do not bite him, Hunter. Do not bite him. I'll warn you, this one is more of a hunting animal than a pet. That's fine. 
They would be a little bit different because she's mm -hmm. been taking care of animals in the wild her whole life. And gets plus two for medical for killing them. <coughs> Holy mm -hmm. fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's going on around here? You remind me of the wolf that I killed the other day. Yeah, the foot of foot. I just give the warning to your warforged friend, but I would suggest that you listen to the hunter. Mm. She has some information you would definitely like to hear. I'm going to be heading out to the north. Come along, hunter. <coughs> I would also suggest if you're wishing to find something remarkably strange that you try out the quill and lead. It's thanks to them that I was able to train this long young boy. But anyway, I should not interrupt your business anymore. Come along, Hunter. This way. You have a good day, Mr. Vimpel. And to you, Lady of Anora. Mm. You keep yourself I out of trouble. Like yes, 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 sir, I am. I'm glad that he's doing better. He is at least not a fan of the Inquisition. Very much so. He hates them. I was half tempted to burn down that entire region. Quite honest, if only you didn't burn the farm, I would say it's <clears throat> Okay, so I guess we can call for a DM for help then, maybe? Mm. Go ahead. For all those standing, <clears throat> and we can just inform. Okay, give me one second here. Well, the stand in for Aldo is present also here, so. Ooh. Oh, God. Well. Oh, hey, uh, God, we just wanted to get, we were wanting to just at least order a sign. I mean, we can put in documentation for Older later, because I know he's out because of stuff. Either um, put an order in or have an NPC, sign? yeah. Yeah, to uh, get a sign made. Give me one moment. <clears throat> okay. And then what do you think you can put on the front? you think you're just going to get your father to make a chain with a little lock on it, basically? Well, I'm hoping that the sign would deter anyone once, you know. Okay, we'll try that first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could just, like, carve. No, I don't want to carve into it. You know, you could just put a chain across in the front so that it can't come out. Well, I mean, it has ropes already doing that. You just can't see them. You, you already got some ropes over there. I need no. something that yeah. just says... Don't With the fucking horse touch they identify the property. Yes. So if it yeah, has a name on it, name, and someone the takes it, it, then I can take yeah. their hand if they take it. <clears throat> As is my right. Yep. I did all hear a couple uh. people on that here. <laughs> uh, yes, we're needing to order a sign. Uh, we can show you where we're needing the sign to be, uh... Oh, welcome to Sticks and Bones, little mama, where we try not to break your bones or your wallet. You trying to order a sign now? I love this one. <clears throat> yeah, right, but what kind of sign you need? We need uh, a you have this just, just a small sign that says the word Maelstrom on it. And then I can put it up myself. Maelstrom, you want me to do the carving too? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> I killed the pain. All right, but I can't read just right. I might wait for Mr. Aldo to come on by. Sure, I can swing by tomorrow and pick <laughs> it up. Yeah, as long as we yeah, you don't want no crooked letters it. now. I tell you that. No crooked letters. Okay. All right, we'll get you a sign. We'll make <clears throat> sure Maelstrom's on it and the properly ordered types of letters. Fantastic. Okay. And then we can just pay him in tomorrow then? That's right, I'll make sure he gets right on that. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. The name is uh, Elf. Elfis Parsley. Elfis Parsley. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the I'll see most you later there, little drow. <laughs> Today, uh, people die. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's Elvis Parsons. <laughs>